Okay, back in. All right, we finally got it back together. And uh, yeah, after all that hassle cutting and aligning the uh, trailing arms in the rear, or sea bars as they're called, and that, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I did have oh, the last lot of hassle was in the outer bearings, and uh, I had to order a set in the local boy hearing shop, and when they come in, well, straight off, I noticed that uh, before I even took them out of the bag, that the inner because the inner's a loose fit, it can be taken out the inner sleeve, and uh, that was in a bag by itself, so I knew straight off that there had to be too much um, clearance between the inner sleeve and the and the bear, too much movement in it. That you, there shouldn't be enough clearance for a, for the centre sleeve to be bagged. Yeah, so anyway, I took them back in, and uh, yeah, because as you would expect, they try to tell you that that's normal and acceptable and yeah I don't know what cases that would be acceptable in but it yeah for a wheel bearing that's not acceptable yeah yeah you know, that half a mil of movement in the outer bearing of this would be yeah half inch to an inch of, of camber change you know it's anyway and the, I look through what they had and I I did find a set that was suitable, was slightly different, but yeah, worked as the same. Um, the main issue being that the inner sleeve could move in, you know, the half mil or so it requires to clamp up tight um, against the collar that runs between the inner and outer bearings. But anyway, we've got it all in now. Um, I've also got another set of front tyres. I was going to go mud tyres on the front as well, but too expensive. They've gone up in price. They're now 210 each. So, yeah, I've gone with a $107 light truck tyre, which gives me the height I need. So, yeah, so I've got, now I've got both wheels back up to the standard running height of the 15. So, yeah, these are 14 inch rims. and I specifically went for 14 inch rims so that I could put a mud tire on the back and still be at the same, you know, the standard height of the standard tire. So, but yeah, um, so yeah, I've got my speedo back to reading correctly now and uh, yeah, taking it for a drive. And uh, I think I might still need a little bit of toe in adjustment at the front. Yeah, um, but yeah, it, it's a whole lot better. Um, it's not wandering around as much as it was now. And yeah, it even, yeah, it just looks better to start with, you know. Yeah. There's probably still got a little bit of, um, know what you call that, positive or negative, but yeah, I'd say it's still coming in a little bit at the top, but... Uh, yeah, it's minimal compared to what it was, and yeah, at least both sides are the same now. I think um, that, you know, it's sort of come in a little bit as the suspension went up. So, but yeah, that's that's quite acceptable. I'm happy with that. I'll be leaving that now. So, yeah. That. Yeah, so all, all that drama and it's finally worked out. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah of course getting me front tyres up to the original heights brought the front up again now. Yeah. Anything is a bull bar still sort of hanging down low but it has to be to protect the, uh, the torsion bar and the torsion bar mounts on the front. So, you know, in order to range to ride raise that up, I would have to uh, change the torsion bars or something. But anyway, probably never happened there. I mean, where the where the bar hangs down low, 
you know, it's sort of, it's in between the wheels, you know, it's further back than the front of the wheels, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue anyway. And, uh, yeah, I haven't actually gone bushing it yet, so, yeah, I'm going to have to work out how to use my GoPro now, and uh, I'll set up, i got a dash cam as well that I don't know how to use either, so I'm going to have to figure it out, and, uh, Set her up and we'll, we'll go and do a bit of trail running and uh, take some video. Anyway, thanks for listening and watching and uh, hit the like please. Okay, bye.